particular move that honestly messes up a lot of play for people. Yeah, it's going to be Slingshot and not the Gimmer Tech. Pocket! Pocket! Well, pocket too. <laughs> but Pocket's not even that bad for Link because he can still, he has so many projectiles, right? Right. Like if Boomerang's gone, okay. The big one to lose is going to be Bomb. If Bobby right. can take away, uh, if Bobby can take away the down B, then that kind of messes up his recovery and makes him much easier to edge guard. So I think that's already why we see T-Sizz much more reluctant to use it, but He's already there got it, it goes. <laughs> And now it's just a matter of Bobby just putting down this pressure here, sending Link off stage, you get him off far enough. You, like you said, you take away one of his recovery resources and he kind of just falls to his doom at that point. Bobby though, just connecting with so, Ooh. so much here. Oh, there's... <laughs> Damn, Bobby, relax! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, goodbye! Uh, Timber! <laughs> <laughs> so much all at once. There was there was the the bowling ball off stage, the bowling ball hitbox extended by the tree, and then the tree. <laughs> yep. And you know, I think every time he's thrown out a dare, it's been three turnups. <laughs> I feel like it, luck is definitely on his side. And uh, as he continues to just take it the pieces here, putting down the pressure. Gonna come back in from off stage. Bobby just continuing to pour on this damage. Has T Sizz on the platform. Gonna take the opportunity for a jab reset. Down tilt and gets that tree back out again. Bobby's gonna look for a down B on the ledge now. He loves, loves putting tree with one hit center stage and then either baiting you to jump into the tree or just full sprinting at you with the, the axe down B. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely gonna be a. Uh... <laughs> A, a wild time, just the rest of the set too. I mean, right now we got 101. percent I mean, Tisa's could. That was another triple turn up. You that know, was another crazy three. Is like, I mean, I know it's a disjoint, but I feel like Link Nair literally just goes through everything. So like, I, every time it gets beaten out, I'm just shocked as it is. Bobby has lapped Tisa's in percent. Finally, a not three turn up. Yeah, another another one. So maybe luck starting to run out. No, oh, there's a three. You don't you don't need the luck when you're playing like this. Bobby Wasabi's definitely taking it to, to him. I uh, hasn't dropped the bomb yet either. He's just held that in his pocket and just continues no, to. No, the, the pocket does have a timer on it. So on occasion, Bobby will need to reset it. Um, but you can literally just pull it out and put it right back into the pocket, and it doesn't matter. He probably has done that at one point or another. Maybe we just missed it. But either way, uh, definitely not. OK, there you go. That's one of those situations where the bomb will fall out of the pocket. But yeah, Bobby Wasabi looking good here, trying to close this one out. Tisa's just trying to be on stage for at least a minute or two. I feel like nobody. Nobody beats a good villager their first time playing the matchup. I think this is... Oh my god. JV3 stock comes through for Bobby Wasabi game one. But back to my point. I feel like villager is such a matchup check because there's so much. There's the down B stuff. There's the hitbox extensions off of it. There's the bowling ball to make you not recover vertically. There's all of the, the slingshot stuff that interrupts your, your movement and your attacks. There's the pocket that you have to play around, which also by the way, can act as another air dodge if you use it correctly because there's invincibility on the start oh up of God, pocket. Yeah. For some reason, there's invincibility on it. He needs it. He needs it. Uh, but there's there's just so much going on with Villager that it's just matchup check after matchup check he after really matchup is, yeah. check. And it looks like that's what's happening to T-Sizz right now. Maybe going into game number two, he'll be slightly more prepared for the, the wave of stuff that Bobby is throwing at him. But I don't know. Bobby's also just really good. I mean, Bobby is really good. I mean, you don't just beat Myron because, you know, a matchup knowledge check or something like that. You have to actually right, and be Myron good in the game. Myron lives in the same region as Javi on Earth, so it's not an unfamiliar matchup exactly. or anything of the like. Myron's not here, though. We got t says and he's definitely getting matchup checked. All right, there we go. The rapid jab. Boxing gloves coming out. Putting down the pressure on T-Sizz, building up the damage. T-Sizz looks like they're able to find this pressure a little bit better. But man, just the pressure on Shield from Bobby so far is just absolutely ludicrous, man. Gets the axe hit there too. He's looking for it, but the boomerang actually ends up saving T-Sizz there. Because otherwise Bobby would have just dropped the bowling ball on his head. He's looking to do the same, but good uh, outside recovery instead of just coming straight up in the column underneath the ledge to right. avoid getting caught. Yeah, you dodged the bowling ball coming down. You also get a, that disjoint, you know, hitting them, getting them away from the ledge. Kind of giving you a free spot to get back onto the stage. So, honestly, a good spot there. And you can see Link tried to pull the bomb out. Forgot that Bobby Wasabi still has it in pocket, man. Dude, this is... It feels like Link is losing every facet of this matchup. Like, he's losing the, the distance game, which, yeah, sure, you don't have bombs to make use of and you're scared of your projectiles getting pocketed, so whatever. But he's also losing out in close range. Like, he's not outboxing yeah. Villager. The thing is, is, Link's got some pretty solid disjoints. Now, they're not as fast as other characters, but that sword hurts, man. 
Gets the up smash though on Bobby's landing on platform. Bobby pulls out the bomb and then repockets it. So yeah, that, that timer, I think he's paying attention to the, the match clock because I think it's 30 seconds. I might be wrong about that, but I think the pocket reset timer is 30 seconds. I'm not, like, I'm actually, this is like the first time I've heard about a pocket reset timer. I'm not sure if that's entirely it's, a thing. It usually doesn't come into play because it's such a long time. Right. That I don't think it's 30 seconds. I think it's definitely it longer. It might be longer. That. I'm not 100% certain. I'll take your word for it. This time. Every other time I'm arguing you, though. Ooh, that was a lot of first round shield, but didn't do up. a whole lot of shield damage. There we go. Bobby going to get back to stage here. Throws out the slingshot. And no stock has disappeared yet. Two minutes into the game already. Oh, missed oh. it down there. <laughs> that would have been huge. At least getting on the board. But the up air coming out. Clutching it out. Tisa's down a stock. And now he's got to find a way to fight back as best as possible. Coming back on. Throws out that bear, too. He's just continuously... Chip damage, chip damage, chip damage, over and over and over. Tisa is taking so much punishment. Mm -hmm. And the scary thing is, too, is every time he throws out the boomerang, Bobby's actually throwing out the Lloyd rocket, right? And just disrupts the boomerang entirely. So, like, it's just eliminating another facet of the game. You can see Tisa is forgetting once again that Bobby has the bomb in hand. They are trying to incorporate that into their game plan. And I hope it's not a big part of their, of their gameplay style because uh, <laughs> they're looking a little bit lost at the moment. Just getting hit again every time he tries to jump in. Bobby now with the tree, going to be looking for the axe hit or the tree hit to maybe try and close this stock out early on the ledge. And that dash attack from the platform as well. It's one of the, like, I think it's like the only dash attack that actually has a projectile on it, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. It's, oh, well, and it was Isabelle's too, but oh, it's yeah, the yeah, same yeah. dash attack. Right, right, right. They're kind of the same character, but you know, they got their differences. But either way, that's another stock down, but Tisa is finding a way to answer back the up throw from Link. How often do you see that take a stock, huh? Not very often, but Bobby, very high percent. Now he pockets Boomerang. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoa! Okay, that could have been a bad spot there, but Tisa's, you know, a little bit of luck on their side as well as they continue to survive here. But the forward air, it looks like they're starting to find a rhythm as they're trying to take it to Bobby Wasabi, but Bobby finding a way back on the stage. Projectiles all over the place, throwing up the tree for a little bit of support. <laughs> oh, get away from there. I don't like... Oh! He pocketed... He did the pocket invincibility through the bomb explosion. <laughs> oh, and that's going to be the axe hit too. 82%. Bobby's now lapped Tisa's in percents and has him off stage. Now He's struggling it. so hard to Ah, oh, but he does get back. That actually was a very good recovery. That was super close to being hit by that bowling ball. But still, Bobby's still forcing Tisa's to have to recover awkwardly because of that bowling ball pressure. Just throwing out these boomerangs, throwing out something to try and approach Bobby Wasabi. But here come, uh, that didn't kill. That was uh, the weak hit. I thought that would have killed. Guess, I guess there's a weak hit on the tree. But um, but either way, uh, Tisa does have another lease on life. I don't know how much longer, but they do take another stock. They are here to play. And man, you know, they could make this work. It's just, you got to find a way <laughs> through the labyrinth that is uh, Villager. Just, you know, hitboxes in general. But Bobby Wasabi does clean it up with a strong 2-0 here as they move on in the winner's side of bracket. Yeah, good stuff to Bobby. And Giving a little wave to the camera with the 2-0. Good stuff to him. Villager is very scary.